Bonjour. Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at um, asking somebody how they are and then replying. So um, normally if you ask somebody how they are, you say, hi, how's, how's it going? If somebody says to me, hi, how's it going? Um, I won't just say, I'm fine, thanks. Just walk off. I'm going to say, and you. So look at that as well. Now, you know, you can just keep it simple. Um, if somebody asks you how you are, you've won the lottery, you could just say, not bad, or something really. Your house has just burned down. Um, you could just say, not bad. I mean, you don't. Sometimes, if, whether you're feeling great or, or terrible, you just answer the same. But if you want to be sincere and frank, um, give, um, you know, true reflection of how you're feeling, then you can sort of um, describe your mood in one of five ways. You can perhaps go a bit further, um, you know, if you're like, fantastic or awful, then, uh, but uh, we'll look at that um, another time. So when somebody, when you see somebody, um, you can say, uh, ça va, how's it going? Ça va. So basically means that goes, that goes, life goes, it's going well. Um, so you want to say we, oui. um, yeah, it's going well, we, oui. uh, or just say ça va bien. Ça va bien, that goes well. You know, it's basically it's like saying fine. Um, now this one is the same, so it's going to be ça va bien, but now you want to stick in the word for very, which is uh, ça va très bien. Ça va très bien. Okay. Um, now this one is um, it's going badly, so uh, bad. So ça va mal. So mal doesn't actually mean bad; it means badly, uh, but it sort of equates to uh, saying bad. Um, and this one is again, it's it's going to be similar to that. Ça va, and then mal. And you can remember the word for very très. So ça va très. Ça va très mal. Okay. What about the one in the middle? Sort of not bad. Mustn't grumble. Well, we just say not bad. So pas, pas mal. It's kind of um, neither good nor bad. Okay, so somebody asks you to say ça va, you can say uh, ça va bien, ça va très bien, ou pas mal, ça va mal, ça va très mal. Now, if you're happy, you can say ça va bien, merci, fine thanks, ça va très bien, very, very well thanks, merci. Um, but you wouldn't tend to do it for the others because otherwise you sound a bit rude. Um, how's it going? Terrible things. You know, sounds like you're being a bit sarcastic. So somebody says to you, ça va? Um, you reply according to how you're feeling. Um, you could say something like, pas mal. And then you could say, and you. So, and you will be, uh, toi. And then the other person would reply according to how they feel. They might say, uh, they could, if it's the same as the other person, they could say, pas mal. Aussi, also, not bad, also. Um, or you could say something like, um, très bien. You don't have to say the whole sava part. We can put that in brackets, really. You can say, uh, somebody says sava, you can say, you can say, ça va très bien, or just, très bien. Uh, ça va, you can just say, uh, bien. Okay. Bien, merci. Um, and the same with those. It's not, it's up to you whether you want to do the long form or the short form. So if somebody says to me, ça va, um, I say, pas mal, et toi? And the other person might reply, uh, très bien, merci. So you've got the, the five ways of uh, replying according to how you're feeling. Okay, so uh, jusqu'à la prochaine fois.